Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. I'm here at Motor Royale Hyderabad and today I feature a machine unlike any other. This is the MV Agusta Turismo Veloce 800. This is a synonym of technology and beauty and art coming alive on two wheels. So every detail that you need to know about this motorcycle is what is coming up in this video. So without further ado, let's get started with this review. Imagine the speed and precision of a super sport, the flickability and maneuverability of a naked bike, and the comfort and stability of a tourer, all combined in one stunning looking machine that looks like an art form sculpted to perfection. This is the MV Agusta Turismo Veloce, wherein Turismo is Italian for touring and Veloce is Italian for fast. And this machine is unlike any other tourer currently available in our market. It may not be perfect in every sense, but it sure is radical, modern and absolutely kick-ass. The bike has been tagged by MV as a tourer with a racing spirit. And when you look at the electronics package on board and the character lurking underneath, you stand convinced that this Italian stallion has the speed and agility of a cheetah combined with the tech from Wakanda and Stark Industries combined while also offering the comfort of a limousine. Design-wise, your jaw hits the ground each time you look at any MV Agusta motorcycle and this one is no different. The LED DRL looks absolutely lit. The front fairing immediately reminds us of the F3800, the LED lights look awesome and the integrated turn indicators on the handguards truly ooze the premium feel. Moving on to the profile is where we start seeing glimpses of the Brutale with the lifted up tail section, the see-through slot underneath the rear seat, the organ pipes design of the three exhausts, the 12 spoke alloy wheels which stands beautifully exposed courtesy of the single sided swing arm and the tail lamp my god is truly out of this world. All along what is clearly evident is the sheer elegance and the pure magic of MV Agusta's signature design philosophy which stands light years ahead of the others. The dash is beautiful as well courtesy of the 5 inch full color TFT console, we get 4 riding modes. 8 levels of traction control, quick shifter and an auto blipper, 3 levels of throttle response, cruise control and more. We get 4 riding modes including rain, touring, sport and custom. In custom we can further alter the throttle sensitivity to normal, low and high. We also get adjustments for the engine torque, the engine braking, engine response and RPM limiter. The ALS steel tubular trellis frame for the Turismo is derived from that of the Stradale 800 but with revised steering geometry. The air vents direct the air towards the knees of the rider which might be helpful in winter but might not be all that pleasant during the summer here in India. The Turismo Veloce engine belongs to the updated generation of the MV Agusta 798cc 3-cylinder unit that received lighter pistons and a hydraulic tensioner for the cam chain. There's also specific cam profiles, a new inlet manifold and airbox, plus an exhaust with a catalytic converter. The bike puts out a max power of 110 horses at 10,000 rpm and 83 newton meters of max torque at 8,000 rpm with 90% of the total torque made available right from 3,800 rpm which is why the bike simply lunges forward each time you ring the throttle open. The slipper clutch is hydraulically actuated, the throttle action is light and crisp but the exhaust note is something that is a little raspy and might not be pleasing to many a soul out there. The ride feel though is unlike any other tourer in our market. It feels like someone took the Ducati Hypermotar and made it a touring machine. It is incredibly lightweight, at least it feels lightweight though it actually weighs 191 kgs dry. It comes with a top speed claim of 230 km per hour but the initial surge and the way it changes directions at will is what makes it completely unique and special in the touring segment. No other tourer turns so easily, 
no other tourer feels so brisk and swift and no other tourer is built so sleek and sharp. The quick shifter works flawlessly, the auto blipper works equally well, the clutch feel is okayish but you hardly use it while shifting gears, the engine is smooth and refined, it's the exhaust note that is raspy but there are no major vibrations to spoil the sheer ecstasy that this bike has on offer in terms of ride quality. The windscreen is easily adjustable on the fly which is an added bonus, the suspension setup is bang on as well, we get inverted 43mm Marzocchi folks up front with long travel to satiate your appetite for touring and also to take on some of the not so pleasant terrains. At the back we get a Sax Monoshock which is fully adjustable as well. The brakes are good too. We get dual 320mm discs up front with radially mounted 4 piston caliper from Brembo. At the back we get a single 220mm disc with 2 piston caliper from Brembo as well. We get Bosch 9 plus dual channel ABS with rear wheel lift up mitigation. Ground clearance is 140mm which is sufficient enough to tour. Please note that this is not meant for off-roading although you can have a little bit of fun on dirt roads. Seat height is 850mm which is why I was left tiptoeing while taking U-turns. Tank capacity is 21.5 litres which offers amazing tank range. Price as per what is mentioned on the Motor Royale website is 18.99 lakhs here in India which makes this bike seriously expensive but it does offer something unique which is the heart of a racer with all the electronics package, the sole of a tourer with a comfortable saddle and perfectly positioned handlebar and the body of a supermodel that would captivate your senses right from the very first glance and this is an extremely rare combination to find and that is what makes this bike really special. So that's pretty much it. This wraps up my review of the Turismo Veloce 800. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and ride safe.